I was searching um, a number of areas, particularly um, urban regeneration, um, looking at changes and policies around um, the Olympics and um, around uh, the way that the East End of London is changing. But I also do work on um, consumption, um, on branding and on advertising. Um, and I think that range of um, interests is something that um, you know has been really quite stimulated by working with external clients. Um, it's quite difficult, um, as many academics know, to get you know research council funding for empirical projects where you know you collect a lot of data um, and where you know there are resource implications for um, conducting research. Um, and I and colleagues who've worked on knowledge exchange projects, um, I think have benefited quite a lot from the opportunity to continue to be able to do um, detailed empirical work um, while working for a government department or um, a, a local um, you know, business or a local um, or even a kind of larger uh, multinational company. Um, because what we get to do is um, the kind of research that we would do in any case as academics but apply and reapply that research and those ideas um, in a way that is you know helpful useful interesting perhaps for the client but also which is engaging and developmental for us as um, academics um, I do think it's um, important for academics to um, engage with um, the real world and real objects and real people um, um, and to do that using the methods that their discipline um, you know has taught them um, now if that's in you know in the service of um, a knowledge exchange project then um, I don't necessarily see that that's you know an obstacle or a problem to doing something that is really useful um, also academically interesting and perhaps developmental for you know the academics concerned but also for you know the work that they might be doing more broadly I mean just as a for instance quite a number of the projects that I've been involved with um, that have been based on um, consultancy organized through knowledge doc have provided either an int introduction or a major basis for work that subsequently has been published in books in articles in articles, in journals, um, and in other, you know, academic um, outlets. So I do think that there is, um, you know, if you're alert to it, a real opportunity for a creative exchange between um, formal consultancy projects and um, the academic work that, um, you know, certainly researchers in this school are very committed to doing. Um, I also think that, you know, we live in a, you know, a, a changing kind of um, business environment. Um, I think a lot of the um, certainties and a lot of the assumptions which underpinned um, ideas about communication, ideas about urban development, ideas about you know what really counts and what really matters in society have been you know disturbed a little bit by um, economic downturns um, and by the kind of crisis in that culture which has um, emerged around the credit crunch and all of those kinds of things. So I think there is, you know, a sense that in some sectors of the business community and in some sectors of, um, you know, policy making, um, there is a genuine seeking after new opportunities, new ideas, and new answers. And academics, it seems to me, because you know we tend to think about and analyse and develop methods for exploring um, difficult and um, sometimes quite you know strange questions um, actually there is an opportunity for kind of partnership and engagement um, it's not always easy um, it's not always easy from a kind of um, resource point of view um, it's also not always easy from um, the point of view of clients understanding academics and academics understanding clients but I do think that with the right framework for engagement and with a degree of kind of open-mindedness in both directions, both from clients and from the academics, that um, projects can go very well and can produce the kinds of interesting, engaging and engaged um, research outputs 
that um, are valuable to um, both academic work and to um, consultancy client. Um, certainly in terms of clients that we've worked with um, here, we did some very interesting work with um, Motorola um, around mobile phones um, and that produced uh, you know genuine you know insights and new conjunctions um, in thinking about you know changes in mobile technologies. We did some work about cars and driving with uh, a major international car brand and again that was very kind of um, interesting work and it enlightening I think both for the client and for um, the researchers involved. So I think in those partnerships there is a genuine opportunity for um, you know, consultancy projects leading to academic outputs, and that's why I'm, you know, you know, keen to, um, you know, continue to engage with, um, you know, knowledge exchange as one important route um, to ensure that the research that I'm doing stays current, and to ensure that the research that I'm doing um, keeps me connected with, you know, a rapidly changing world. Clients have, clients have been, you know, pleased with the work that we've done um, and they continue to come back to us for you know updates and um, further partnerships and collaborations and and I think um, you know having a client return to ask you again to work with them is probably the most satisfying kind of sign that you've done a good job in the first place. Um, students also um, you know when they hear you in the classroom or um, in a tutorial or a seminar talking at first hand about what goes on live in you know a particular industry setting um, it does tend to make them you know um, listen a bit more carefully because very often students you know uh, hope to be able to see themselves in the future as working in those environments um, and I think they do see um, a kind of um, important legitimation um, for their courses and for their learning experience if they know that part of the contribution um, comes from uh, academics who know their subject, who know their disciplines and who know the methods that are used in their subject and their discipline but who have also tested and explored and expanded that expertise um, in real world projects you know perhaps with clients that they've heard of so if a student hears that you've worked with a famous client or a famous brand that they use or that they like or that they think is trendy and fashionable, then um, probably it makes them listen a bit harder to the concept or to the idea that you're trying to explain to them.